If you're happy, then that's awesome. Like that's that's you, successful. Like them. you've won. Yeah. Like you've won. If you're happy, it's the ones that are complaining, but they're not putting the work in. So True. it's the ones that are are leaving the office at five and they're going and just blowing off the rest of the day and then they're not putting any work in on the weekends and they're not putting in the extra effort and then they're complaining about where they're at. Yeah. That's the problem that you have. The problem nowadays when we talk about the modern man, the suicide rate, amongst men is three to four times more than women. So obviously nowadays, men aren't feeling needed. Men aren't feeling fulfilled. So if, if that's the problem, what do you guys think some solutions, and this is open forum, um, what do you guys think are some solutions for men to feel fulfilled? For men to take responsibility of their lives, whether they're single, have a girlfriend, engaged, or married with, chil with children. I think you said the word right there, responsibility. It's not your wife's or your girlfriend's responsibility to make you happy. It's your responsibility to make you happy. And the byproduct of doing so will be a happier relationship. I think there's so many people that get upset and they get depressed because they're not happy, but they're looking to other people like, she needs to be fixed. And there's something wrong with her and she's not doing this and she's not doing that. And they don't look internal and that's just personal responsibility to me. And it, it's easy to say in theory, like, yeah, of course you put your oxygen mask on first, but when it's in real life, it's not that easy. It's not that black and white. Um, but it's not until you take care of yourself, and in that case, being your happiness, that you have the capacity to, to take care of anyone else. Like, until you're happy, you can't make anybody else happy. Uh, but I think there's so many people that are relying on others for their own happiness, and they'll never be able to fill themselves that way. You're going to figure out in this process of, of figuring out who you are and your truth, you're going to figure out a lot of stuff that you suck at. Yeah. You're supposed to. Like, yeah. that, that's fine. It may be that you have a list a mile long of things you suck at, but you've got these three things that you are actually legitimately awesome at. Yeah. Then it's literally how do we get rid of all of that and just go all in so that you're spending 99.9% .9 of your day on the stuff that you're awesome at because 100%. that's how you live a life on purpose and a life of fulfillment is by doing the things that you were naturally born to do and that you're naturally gifted at yep. doing and that's how ultimately you're going to have happiness in your life. I mean, you're never going to be happy trying to change the things that you're bad at. No. Ever. You make yourself happy. So Yeah. So when, I'm, when I go through accountability uh, with our team in all these areas of life, this, there was one that person I was talking to, I want to get too detailed and call them out, but they, they're just, they're marriage, they're struggling and they've been struggling for a long time. And um, she's always angry at her, at her husband, always upset and he's not changing, it won't change, all this. It's, it's what, the way it's always been. And finally I just said, I was like, it's not his job to make you happy. Like, mm -hmm. it is not his job to yeah. make you happy. And guess what? Why would he be happy? Every time you talk to him, you're yelling at him and you're angry because it's bad. I was like, why don't you just work on you? You get happy. And I promise you, if you enter every dialogue, enter the house, and you are happy because you're doing all this stuff for you, he will take notice and things will fall into place. But that's not his job. It was just this like light bulb, like, oh, yeah. Oh my God.